Welcome back to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. I, of course, am your host, KC Phoenix, and it is time for the Quick Three Tarot. This is a reading for the collective. It's not for a specific sign. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the tarot cards and the energy. You know your story better than I ever could. Also, before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. All right. Let's get to this. I was picking up heavy energy during the pre-shuffle. Like heavy, heavy energy. Um, Somebody, and this is for May the 20th, Friday. There are some people going through a really, really tough cycle right now, wrapping it up. And the energy that I was picking up is that you, you have to be strong right now. You, you have to be strong right now. Let me go ahead and take some cards and see what we get in the main um, layout. All right. May I have the energy for the collective for Friday, May 20th? May I have the energy for the collective for Friday, May 20th? May I have the energy for the collective for Friday, May 20th? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? Also, for those of you wondering the deck I'm using, I'm using the Golden Wheel deck. What is it? Ace of Swords is at the bottom. That's a victory card. So just hold on for those of you going through wrapping up the tough cycle. What is it that the collective needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? Wow. One card. Thank you. Wow. And it was the Ace of Swords. It was at the bottom of the deck and it fell out. Okay. So there's going to be some clarity coming in and there's going to be a victory. Ace of Swords can deal with contracts too as well. Communi- Ace of Swords is communication. It, um, Swords is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, you could be one of those three signs or you could have them in your charter. You could be dealing with one of those three signs. But the Ace of Swords is about communication. And again, it is a victory card. It's about some type of clarity coming in. And that's the thing. You're just going to have to be strong until you can get the clarity on what you need to get it on. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. Queen of Swords. Lots of air energy here. Queen of Swords is... She's one of my favorite cards and probably my favorite queen. The Queen of Swords is very discerning in the sense of I want to see the receipts. <laughs> That's how the Queen of Swords is. And also the Queen of Swords is very fair, a true Queen of Swords. Now, if the Queen of Swords is in, in the reverse, she can be kind of petty. But um, in the upright, the Queen of Swords is very fair. And thank you. My my laptop just made a noise. <laughs> but with the Queen of Swords, there is something here that requires a... What's the word I'm looking for? Not objective. There's another word. What is that word? Um, there's something... Okay, let me phrase it this way. There is something that will require an individual to remove their personal bias from the situation. And the Queen of Swords can do that. The Queen of Swords can do that. Any type of bias, the Queen of Swords doesn't deal with that. The Queen of Swords is like, okay, either it's black or it's white. 
either is right or is wrong. And the Queen of Swords will say what it is. But if you're in, there may be something that you have to be in that Queen of Swords energy. Now, going back to the Ace of Swords, too. Also, I feel like some of you could be dealing with a legal situation as well, especially with the Queen of Swords here and the Ace of Swords here. But it's it's going to be fair. If you're dealing with a legal situation, and this isn't legal advice, I'm just the person reading the energy and the tarot cards. If you're dealing with a legal situation, it will be fair. With the Queen of Swords showing up and the Ace of Swords, yeah, it's going to be very fair. Um, also, with the Queen of Swords, I just heard ultimatum as well. There might be an ultimatum issue. You may issue, if you're in the Queen of Swords energy, and again, you don't have to be this air sign. You don't have to be a female. It, there's no gender in tarot. If you're in Queen of Swords energy, you may issue an ultimatum on something. Just letting you know. Because I, I had heard ultimatum. So yeah. Because it's like something's going to have to come to an end. A cycle. May I have another card, please? And also, the Queen of Swords is someone you do not want to lie to because she will catch you in a lie. So, if you're in Queen of Swords energy and someone attempts to lie to you about something, you will more than likely catch them in that lie. And vice versa, if you're attempting to lie to someone in Queen of Swords energy, that individual, thank you, that individual will more than likely catch you. What, and you know what? That is so crazy. And at the bottom of the... We have all swords. This is crazy. The reason I said legal is because two of swords, for those who don't know, two of swords in most tarot decks, it has a woman with the blindfold and then she has the two swords like this. And I was doing ace of swords plus the queen of swords is the two of swords. So I was like, okay, that's two of swords. More than likely there's a legal situation. And then the Two of Swords comes out. Somebody is definitely dealing with a legal situation. Now, for others of you, if you're not dealing with a legal situation, going back to the ultimatum thing, someone is definitely issuing an ultimatum because they're going to block someone. Because again, usually the um, Two of Swords has a woman with a blindfold with two swords and she's like this, pretty much saying, don't come near me. And... Some of you might be saying, okay, if you don't um, do what needs to be done, then it's it's over. It's going to be a wrap is what's, what will happen. And more than likely, it's because there's been some type of pain caused. Because at the bottom of the deck, it's three of swords. This is all air energy. All communication is what this is. I feel with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords... The Queen of Swords is going to communicate and make something very clear to someone. Someone who's in Queen of Swords energy will communicate to the other individual and say, this is what's going to happen. And if it does not happen, you're going to get blocked is what we're looking at. Or I'm just, I'm not, I'm not dealing with the pain anymore. And, uh, and you know what? Five of Pentacles is showing under the Three of Swords. This came out in the pre-shuffle. That's why I was saying somebody may have been feeling lack, going through a tough cycle, feeling left out. I feel like now that song by um, Barbara Streisand and, and Donna Summer is playing through my head, Enough is Enough. That's what I'm going to title this. Enough is enough. That's what I feel like that this is this is about. Enough is enough. Someone's going to communicate. Someone also might be going through a divorce too. Queen of Swords is a is a divorce card. Maybe two someone got tired of being hurt and being left out. And then they're about to let their other half know, "Hey, I'm getting a divorce." But regardless of what the situation is, 
it's at the point where enough is enough. So yeah, that that's the reading. All of these are sword, air in communication, swords energy. That is crazy. All right, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, be blessed.